What's up, y'all? Today we're gonna be doing some bratwursts and some tater tots, aka brats and tots. I thought of this a while ago just because it rhymed, but I think it would be a very good combination too. You know, it's a classic. Potatoes, sausages. I think it, I think the Germans might respect this one. Um, so I'll probably just fry these up in a fry pan and cook these up in the oven. Uh, it should be take about like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. But yeah, I, the, both of these are rare in Korea. I just randomly saw them and I'm like, you know what? That's a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna cook these up. VRB, brats, tots. It's been a minute since I had a brat. I've never seen a brat worst in Korea before. Maybe I just wasn't looking in the right places, but in 10 years, never seen one. So I'm excited to try one of these. I don't, I probably haven't had one in, I think I had a one in 2017. That was in America though. Tots, not so, not as uncommon, but Or Ida, the brand is uncommon. So I had to scoop these up. The mini guys are all I could find, but let's just get into it. Let me show you what I'm working with real quick. From the Eagle Eye, we got four decent size, pretty small brats actually. And this was the only variation I could find, the white looking ones, but they did color up real nice. And a nice little pile of some golden crispy tater tots. And this meal right here, you can't go wrong with it, man. I've never had this combo, but come on, man. So let me just try one of these. I'm, I'm curious to see if these are actually halfway decent and have that nice brat worst flavor going in plain. Mm. That's where it's at. Perfectly cooked to me. You get a little bit of that crispy, a little bit of the snap, that crispy skin. Perfectly, perfect temperature inside, juicy. I'm trying to show you. All right, so it ain't Niagara Falls with it, but it's it's juicy to me. It ain't dry, and it's just freaking good, man. I would love to throw this on a bun, but we're going old school with it today. I know what you might be thinking. Where's the sauces, man? Like I said, going real home style with it. Heinz. Still unsullied from sponsorship since 2016. This is just good though. Let me let me try a plain tater tot now. Tell you what, man, I gotta start eating more of these. Pop them in the. I put them so I put them on a foil sheet. Man, you should y'all should have seen me. I was cooking away. If I had a cameraman, it would have been it'd be the most useless job in the world. I would say actually, but. I was cooking those brats because the thing is that it's hard to get color on the underbelly. So, but these 15 minutes foil lined baking tray, single layer, no, no nothing. I didn't add any oil to the bottom or anything. And these just came out delicious. I could have left them in honestly for another five minutes if you want them even a little bit more crispy. What a combo. What a freaking combo, though. By the way, these were, this cost me about five bucks. I think the bag of these also cost me about five bucks. I probably only used half of these, though, so. Pretty affordable meal. I'll tell you what, you could probably get it cheaper in, yeah, somewhere else. Or maybe not these days. But kids, if I ever had kids, I'd be serving this up because it's so easy to make and it rhymes. And I feel like the kids would just be, they'd be liking it. These brats, by the way, flavor wise, I would say standard brat. Worst. I don't know, is it is it a Midwest thing to just call it a brat instead of a bratwurst? I don't know. Very standard and tasty. There ain't no cheddar infused jalapeno, nothing like that. But some nice spices. Now, this is where it's gonna get kicked up another notch. Mustard and catsup. And there you go. I mean, if I was a kid, I'd be loving this. Mmm. 
I am kind of like, it, it's weird. I, I feel like an old kid, you know what I mean? I'm not talking like, no, I, what I'm talking about is like an old man. 80s. But also like a kid at the same time. Does anyone else feel like that? It's weird, man. But, um, yeah. Brought one of those things for me that growing up, these were always like a summertime thing. I don't think my family didn't cook them too often, but everyone else's family did. I might just go in with the, with the hands, to be honest with you. And it, it's a very summertime type of thing to me. Cook them on the grill. And it's approaching the end of summer. I mean, you, some say it's already fall. Personally, personally, you know what? Let me, let me go on a little rant here. So, depends where you live, obviously. If you live in a place where it's nice weather all year round or the summer is whatever, but at least where I'm from, and I think a lot of places, the summers are hot as hell and humid. Why is that considered like the grilling season? All right, time to whip out the old grill. Let's have some backyard barbecues. I tried that. So I, I live in a place now that has an area that I can put a grill outside, which for the first time in Korea, I've first time in my life, I guess I've owned my own grill. And I was out there in the summer, like, that's what you're supposed to do, right? And it was just hot, too hot. Because the grill is hot. You know, standing over cooking, it's just like, unpleasant. I am very sensitive to heat, I gotta say. But for me, I feel like the perfect time to grill is like, fall autumn maybe even spring but especially fall I, I love i just love the fall but when it's a little bit cooler out so when you're standing by that grill you get that warmth from the grill i don't know something about the uh the hot and the cold or something heating you up on a cold or chilly day like a fire i like that a lot or a blanket even big ass blanket on a cold day i have cold night I like that. I like that a lot. I also like this a lot. Speaking of, of weather though, about to get hit by a typhoon, which I don't really know the difference between typhoons and hurricanes, except I, th I think it's the same exact thing, basically, except one of them is, it depends on the region of the earth that it's in. So we're about to get hit hard. It's already kind of starting. You probably don't care, but the next few videos might be... I don't think delivery spots are going to be delivering. I was, that's what I'm going to say. So I have a couple tricks up my sleeve. A couple backup options. You know what I'm saying? What could I compare it to? You know, it's a little bit like bangers and mash. I can mash these up. It's a British thing, you know, sausage and mashed potatoes. Mash up a couple of these. Well, I guess it's more like a more like a hash brown now. That would be fire too. I've never had bangers and mash on the list though. But sometimes you want a little bit of crunch, a little bit of crisp. You know what? You could do. 
similar sizes. We can just kind of, yeah, just like, I don't know. You can make some kind of casserole, I bet. Mm. That was really good though, to me. Really enjoyed that. I wonder how much of the fact is just that it rhymes that I like it, I don't know. Probably at least like 50. But what a satisfying meal right there. Almost the perfect ratio too. I did end up, you know, just for the plating. I, I sometimes I end up with extra food. There's only about a handful of tots left here, but it's okay. Extra tots is never a bad thing. But yeah, that's about it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.